Hello game makers and welcome to AMF Tutorials, I'm Advanced Math Freak and today we're going to be learning how to do wild battles. Oh. Nah, I don't like that. But <laughs> let's just carry on anyway, because this is the third time I am recording this. Because the other two times I got a runtime, runtime, runtime script error 9 thing, which is basically what I'll explain in a second. But first, we're going to be learning how to do wild battles. And I don't like to think of them as wild battles so much, more like boss battles. The reason they're called wild battles is because the main function we're going to learn today is called, well, is written as wild battle. So, you know, just uh, sort of title it like that as well. But anyway, because this script will go, whoops, because this script will go on the Pokemon that you're going to face, we do. Oh, I just missed. I just said the word instead of typing it in. Uh, we should. We need to add lock and face player. Lock will stop any other characters from moving, uh, including your own, I think. And face player will um, make the sprite face you if you talk to them from a different direction. And we can get straight into it by using a new function called cry. And what this does is makes the Pokemon burst into tears. Yeah, not really. Um, what it does is it makes the, it makes a small little noise that just makes it sound so much more professional and neater. Just um, it, it sounds like plainly or something. It's just not. It, it, they all sound the same really to me. But um, what you would need to do is you need to do O X A one, and then you need to put the number of the Pokemon you're going to do. So I've got oops wrong one. I've got a notepad here on my website. Download this. Uh, go on it and become a member for free, and um, you can get the links there. But um, we'll just use Pikachu as an example, which is number 25. So if we go back on here, and we type in cry25, and we will need to put two knobs after it, because um, this function needs six bytes, and um, when you write it like this, it only gives it four, so the two knobs gives it two extra bytes, and that's all complex stuff, but you don't need to worry about that. So after that, we can put in a message to make it look a bit nicer. Ooh. Hello, hello, hi, how are you doing? There we go, um, what should we make him say? Um, Pikachu, it's Pikachu, wasn't it? Yes, Pikachu looks angry. Wait, I just forgot what I was going to write. Oh yeah, then he just says, Pika Pika. Box set six. Ah, there we go, that's our message. Now what we need to do is move on to the actual function of the day. Function of the day, wild battle. There we go. <laughs> and um, we type in wild battle, then you type in the number of your Pokemon, then you type in what level you want him to be, so let's, let's make him level 50, then you type in the, ooh, what's it called? You type in the item you want to give him. Although this is why I kept getting runtime error nines. This is why I had to record this video for the third time. Because if you seem to put any item onto the Pokemon, the script just says no. No, you're not allowed. You're not allowed to, mate. Sorry. I, I don't want you to. Go run time nine times or something. I don't care. So I'm going to have to do OXOO because that seems to be the only one that works. And that basically means give them no items. They're not worthy of an item this level 50 Pikachu. Yep. <laughs> so then, now everything after that wild battle, battle function will be after the battle with the Pokemon. So then we put pause move 80 just to give it a bit of time to uh, give the game a bit of time to fade back after the battle. And then we go on to message. Um, I don't know, we'll just put in a message. Um, Pika, oops. Pikachu. Uh, oh, we'll do fleas. Oh, that's a good one. Pikachu fleas. Box at six, and then um, I guess we're gonna have to make him flee now. <laughs> and um, to do that, we will use a function called fade screen one, and this makes the screen fade to black. Then we will use another new function called raw ox53 and um, oxof ox80. Now our ox53 um, ox53 well hash raw ox53 does is is basically the Cody way of saying remove sprite and what um, OXOF and OX80 is is, <laughs> is, 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 is the, um, the variable, the temporary variable set by the game to somebody you're speaking to 
So we're speaking to this sprite and the game automatically sets a variable of um, 800F to the character. So then by uh, flipping it and reversing it and breaking it down, uh, it turns into OXOF and OX80. And this will just say, look, whoever you're talking to right now, which is um, OXOF and OX80, then remove them. Pull a hash raw OX53 on them. And then after that, we have to fade the screen back. We don't want the whole player pressing, press, uh, pressing, playing the rest of your game on a black screen. Fade screen, and then after that, we are pretty much done. Release and end. So now we would save this. Um, yeah, I've done it five times, so I've just left it on um, already saved. And I think I'm going to fast forward it until we start putting it onto the advanced map, and I'll just show you uh, some things that you need to do. Like one of the things I've already forgotten to do, which is after this, you need to put a set flag, um, set flag, and whatever you really want it to be. Um, let's see, 1,200. And um, yeah, that that set flag is to stop the Pokemon from reappearing again. So that would have been really, really embarrassing and really annoying if I forgot to put that in again. So um, I think that's everything. I hope I'm not missing anything out. Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna fast forward this and. Um, put it in the game and um, I'll come back to you in a second. Okay, so we've opened up the map that we want to put it in and I've just put it in the room below the uh, starting house and to put in a event uh, to set the whole thing up, you click on the events tab, scroll down to the bottom, and it'll say amount of events. And if you click one more in the person events and click change events, you'll notice somebody come up in the corner. If you don't see them like this, then you might need to click this bright button in the corner. It says map connections there for some reason, even though that's supposed to be map connections. And that says find free spit. Okay, basically just pick this cool looking guy, and it'll change to the letters and stuff. That way you can see the warps and other things. But I like to leave it like this when I'm messing around with sprites. So I guess I'll just put him here in front of the TV. Pikachu's hugging the TV. <gasps> we have to fight him and make him go. <laughs> That's a pretty good plot, I think. Um, what, what number is Pikachu? I have no idea. Um, I'm pretty sure he's somewhere past here. Uh -uh, mm -mm, mm -mm. Oh, come on. Oh, no, I should have done Pidgey. What was I thinking? Pikachu, yes, 120. 120 is Pikachu, guys. Just saying. Um, the script offset, we would put that uh, We would put that in, usually quite handy. Um, person ID, our person ID would be the flag number, so I'm just going to quickly check, I did 1200, so that would be our person ID. Then we are pretty much done. I'm just going to fast forward it again because I need to add somebody to give me a Pokemon. Um, so I'm going to quickly do that. Um, giving Pokemon, um, I've already done a tutorial on that. If you don't know how to, then you can check that out. And you guys should really check out my other videos too. It'll be very helpful if you subscribe and stuff. So I'm just kick, kick, kick it into fast forward again. Okay guys, so we're back and we are awaiting the moment of truth. On the bright side, the Pikachu and my um, Professor Oak's aide is there. Uh, let me just grab my Pokemon first from him. Here's a Pokemon. Thank you very much. Can I check if I've got a Pokemon? Nope, because uh, I didn't set a different flag. Okay, Pikachu. All right, let me, let me put this up so you can hear the cry. A little lag there. Right, let's see. Yeah, but I hope you heard that. Um, if you didn't, then um, you're lost. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. Um, yeah, so um, Pikachu looked angry, and um, because it backslash P, um, it goes to a different bot, and then it's Pikachu, and then whoa, oh no, hmm, that second box appeared before the battle started. I'm not sure if that's because of my lag or if that's because I didn't put the pause long enough. Pause OX80 needs to be longer. I think just by changing the number in terms of hex make higher then you can make sure 
Why am, why am I battling like this is an actual battle? Let me just psychic this Pikachu. Yeah, so I think um because because um I didn't use die 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 yes because I didn't use um a long enough pause the box appeared before it started and the, obviously the box would have got rid of itself before it started but um I hope that helps um yeah my thing's a bit laggy but um the Pikachu did disappear and um I can step away and he doesn't come back so um I hope that's taught you a lot and I hope you've learnt um, something here. Um, so um, this has been Advanced Man Freak and I guess I'll see you next time.